and we got to know each other in a way that I guess we never knew each other. <laughs> and we're a lot different, but we're a lot alike. It's the same. And he's a man that I know that is, he's fun to be around. Never at a loss for anything. I just enjoy his company every step of the way. And that's just him being um, a male that's a male that's a person that was with me, but a man that was a man truly of God. He is somebody that I see, and you get to see people when you walk up close, especially when you're sleeping in the same room. And he, he is a holy man. <laughs> and he's a man that loves God, fears God, and avoids the devil at all costs. And you know, you know, walk around Africa with him, to be with him, I got to see that. I got to see that he's a man that is passionate about ministry and that he loves people wherever he goes. He, his heart is set out for people, no matter where, no matter who, no matter what. He always has a kind word and a smile and an encouraging thing to say to everybody that he meets and he talks to. That just, that just didn't grow out of him, but the Spirit of God that's in him that grows it out of him. And as I watch him, you know, and as I walk by his side doing that, you know, I said, I just said that in the character because he encouraged me. You know, not that he said anything to me, but how he encourages us, it makes everybody around feel good. And it was just an honor just to be roommates with him for those two weeks that we were away. Didn't know he was going to be my roommate. Didn't know I was going to have a roommate at all, but God so had that we were set together. And it was a good stuff, let me tell you. And I really appreciated being with him and getting to know him in a way that I never knew. Because you can see people walk through the conference and walk around the church all the day, all the time. But when you get to see him, I'm a person personally. You know, he's a person that I grew to love and adore. Not just from afar, which I did, but now close up. And it was just, you know, a privilege that he was able to be available this day. Because he was different, you know, your pastor is a very busy man. And he's probably very seldom at home. So I thought it was between an um, airplane, like, he probably flew in to do this, and he's going to fly out after he finished, like this morning. <laughs> and the folks, well, I hope Sister Moore, could you please say it? Because many of us like that know Sister Moore. So why don't you know what you're And thank you for letting me be with me. <laughs> so I'm right here, I'm just going to move out of the way. And I told Reverend Moore, just make himself at home and do whatever he needs to do. I think he has a couple of people here that may want to sing a song with him. Am I right? Yes, sir. So I'm going to move out of the way and I'm just going to let Reverend Moore take the service to me in the way that God would have him today. Amen? Amen. Yes. Scott Cameron will pass the Jesus yes. Temple and move out of here. Let's just stop for Pastor Samuel Whitaker. And he's gracious. Too much time, but I was honored and privileged to be able to spend time with Pastor Whitaker in South Africa. And so you can continue to know the story of the time in South Africa. So I just really appreciate it. Amen. Makes me feel better. <laughs> Amen. I appreciate him. Appreciate the Conti family. And so I'm honored to be here. When he asked if I would share, I was just so blessed that I could be a part. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to pre-mark your Bible uh, in Daniel, in the book of Daniel, chapter number three. Daniel chapter three. And the tribe come, they'll come. The tribe of Judah gonna come, and they're gonna say, and then after they say. I'll be right back. <laughs> 